Thank you Ate Marna and Christian sa pagsama sa akin sa aking pagbablog. Thank you so much. Aral yan ng CV dito sa Singapore, yung Bible ba? Ito kami sa loob ng Singapore Discovery Center. Pero magbabayad ka dito, tapuha ka ng ticket. Dito lang tayo magpalamig. Yan ay dito pwede. Oh. Nay, nay, dito po ako. Nay, dito na. Tara, nay. Ayan, no? Nay, dito na. Marami, marami. Saan? Pwede bang pumasok dyan? Ate! Wala pa tayo kalang hintayin natin sa atin muna. Ayan o. Hindi naman kailangan tikit, diba? Opo. Tingnan natin kung may mga dito. Woo! Ang dilim! Pareho ka sa akin ay. Hindi na, nagbubukas ito na. Nagbubukas ito yung ilaw. Halika, hindi nuli ka dito, te. Nay, ayan na. Nay, ilaw na po. Ayan o, may ibo na. Nay, ayan na po yung ilaw na. Ito sa Discovery Center kami o. Ayan nyo. Pero nay. Let's go. Ito nyo yung ibo, no? In the game. There is just a tiny island without a name. The truth is green in the midst of swirling seas. The island at the end. And then to Masik or Sea Town because of the small trading outpost that takes root of it. But how does it become a king? Wait, wait, wait. Yes, for its five kings. Some say it begins with a prince fleeing from his enemies. But no one really knows where the myth ends and where history begins. The prince arrives in an island with pristine white sand and finds a majestic beast roaming its jungle. Surely this place deserves a new name, just as glorious and majestic. And that is how he comes to name it Singapore or Thailand City. He is suddenly loved to come, the first king of the kingdom of Singapore. The Persian king of Singapore draws the attention of the powerful Rajapati Empire of Punjab, who sends an envoy to demand its submission. Sri Vikramari refuses, and the furious Rajapati king orders an attack on Singapore. But the attempt fails, and the Javanese are driven out. In 1362, Swami Nath Bhattar 
enters his school. He competes in the challenge to lift the heavy stone in a show of strength. And not only does he lift the stone, he flings it all the way to the mouth of the Singapore River. It is believed that the fragment of this fabled stone endures to this day, better known as the Singapore Stone, one of our country's national treasures. The next king in line is Sri Maharaj Rajas, the host of Singapore. A young boy, unknown, comes up with the idea of using the other shots to trap the boat when he leap out of the water. The jealous king, threatened by the boy's intelligence, eventually orders him to be killed. The last king of Singapore is Kali Swan. Originally a boat uprising, he flees to Singapore with his supporters, a group of foreign lands who see him. Kali Swan is warmly welcomed by the local ruler, Santaji, in the Siamese vassal. However, he betrays his host by assassinating him and usurping the throne. The murder of Santaji angers the Siamese, who invade Singapore leading to the fall of the Kingdom of Singapore in 1399. Just like that, the winds shift as Pariswara flees north and finds refuge in Malacca. There, he found the Malacca Sultan, which grows to become a major trading hub by the early 1400s. Flourishing maritime trade with China and strong demand for spices from the West and am going to the Portuguese attack and capture the land. So the 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 and attack the Portuguese train ship Santa Catarina in 1603 off the coast of Singapore. The region turns into a hotspot for conflict as alliances shift in red. The Portuguese and Johor Sultan forged a peace agreement in 1610, but this peace is short lived. The alliance angers the Algerians, who attack and burn down Singapore in retaliation. Lee in ruins and sinks. In 1805, a 23-year-old officer from the British East India Company was sent to Penang to serve as the assistant secretary for the state government. His name is Thomas Stanford Raffles. By 1880, Raffles had become a governor of Benedictine and is concerned with the Dutch dominance of the region. Accompanied by Major William Farquhar, the resident of Malaga, Raffles leads an expedition to find a suitable location near the southern end of the strait, the British port. The expedition reaches Singapore, docking in its waters off St. John's Island in January 1819. On 6th February 1819, Raffles signs a treaty with the Kimono and Tinku Hussein Shah, which allows the British East India Company to establish a trading post in Singapore. When Raffles first arrives, there are already hundreds of indigenous Malays and Aranglao women, and many more soon make their way to Singapore from the region. The establishment of a free port in Singapore draws an influx of migrants in search of new opportunities. They bring their heritage, language, and lifestyle practices with them, turning Singapore into a vibrant and cultural yeah, from coolies to merchants, from convict laborers to philanthropists, these enterprising pioneers lay the foundations for modern day Singapore. However, as the population surges, living conditions become overcrowded and rife with diseases. Impoverished laborers turn to opium, gambling for solace, 
and secret societies grow in power. Crime and violence mark the young colony. As the 20th century unfolds, investment in education and public health gradually raises the overall standard of living in Singapore. With increasing affluence, a new middle class emerges. More English educated locals take on leadership roles in government and society. The people in Singapore are starting to take their destiny into their own hands. However, storm clouds are gathering around this vulnerable island. Just as powerful forces around the world shaped its history, the winds of change will soon engulf Singapore again. <laughs> Bukan mak picture eh, mahen mana tu eh? Dilim dah ina. Dilim, kau siapa? Kau mungkin dah pukas siapa lagi? Ayah, di sini mula tayo, sakit lang. Tapi dah lepas sakit tayo dulu mama. Di sini kami sa Discovery Center. Ya no, para kami. Para kami. It's been an honor to be part of the vlog. Car City. Terlalu anu, para terlalu anu Discovery. Yan mo na? Kasi mo na yan mo. Paglabas mo. Basang basa ng pawis kanina doon. Ate, may daanan mo dyan? Wala. Balik ka nga. Hindi, balik tayo doon. Hindi na ikot po talaga doon. Pero hindi yata po. Hindi yata doon. Balik ka dito sa mga rak-rak sa tunay to. Picture ka dyan. Picture ka dyan. Sige na. Ganda o, maganda. Sige na. Sige na. Huwag niyo akong pansanin. Ganito talaga ako. Ba't may bilog-bilog pa yan? Thank you so much for watching. Nandito pa rin kami sa loob ng video. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Bye. 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 Bye